Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a voiceover today, you guys. <laughs> okay, quick, quick story time before we jump into the video. Yesterday, my daughter was sick with a stomach flu. It was a total shit show. I have the sniffles as well, but I'm honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yesterday while I was home with my daughter, I was, I ordered a brand new camera. Um, I ordered up lighting. I'm totally going to make this office slash studio look more legit, tighten the shot, get it crisper. All of, I'm taking all of the feedback that I've been getting and I'm implementing it. The only problem was, is that I was having some problems ordering like getting all the things in the same shopping cart. I don't know why. I think it was because I was doing it for my phone. So lesson learned. But I ended up having it shipped to my parents' house in California instead of to me here in Florida. So long story short, I will have all of that equipment on Monday. <laughs> um, so just bear with me. Bear with me. In today's video, I wanted to talk about, because I have been thinking about this and I've seen some people talk about it on Reddit, that is Robin and Cody's marriage as idyllic or fairy tale as one would seem? I mean, it's certainly no Mary and Cody marriage or now we see Christine and Cody marriage, but is it like, like, marriage goals and I don't think so. I don't think everything is as it seems. We all know that Robin is Cody's soulmate. Peyton stated this in an interview recently and honestly I think that that's accurate. You can tell like just the way he is and was with Robin at the beginning of Sister Eyes which is when they started courting. Um, there's just like a total like he is like a giddy kid with a crush. And you it's it's totally different than the vibe you got between like Janelle, Christine, and Mary and their relationships with Cody. I can't help but have picked up on a couple things throughout the seasons 14, 15, and 16. So the three most recent seasons that make me think maybe their marriage really isn't as solid as we have been led to believe. And honestly, we know that with the Brown family, they definitely like to portray a certain image, even if it's far from real life. As was disclosed in the one-on-one -on -one tell all for season 16, Mary says that she has not had an intimate relationship with Cody in 10 years, but Cody made it seem like it had been since the catfishing incident, which was five years ago. And if you look at the early seasons, Cody seems a lot more loving towards Mary. There definitely seems to be a breakdown towards like, I don't know, like seasons eight, nine, and ten-ish in that area. Cody married Mary, Janelle, and Christine in pretty quick succession. And they stayed as a three wife, one husband household for more than a decade. And a lot of that was spent in that Lehigh house as they started, you know, being fruitful and multiplying as they started having kids. When Robin came into the picture, she was the shiny new toy, for lack of a better way of putting that. Also, she had the unique advantage because Cody was with Mary, Janelle, and Christine for over a decade, closer to 15 years at that point, of seeing what didn't work in those marriages. And as a child of divorce herself, and as have, having just gone through a divorce herself, she knew what not to do from these three wives that came before her. Robin has famously stated many times that she tries to do all her errands and chores when Cody is at the other houses so that when he is with her, it's like a never ending honeymoon, honeymoon phase. She can give her undivided attention to him, which, you know, I guess that's another plus of having childcare or a nanny, I suppose. You can, you know, give your husband your full attention then. The thing is, is I don't think Robin anticipated that Cody would just up and not see his other families the way he has these past couple of years. And honestly, that is in large part her fault because wasn't she a big catalyst for the move to Flagstaff in the first place? And this is really what put all of the families into different households again and not in a cul-de-sac. 
she can literally never take the mask off. And that has to be exhausting if you're always trying to make life the most convenient for your partner all the time. If he doesn't have to do any housework or any, you know, fixing stuff around the house or anything like that, if it's all just, you know, he doesn't have to grocery shop, he doesn't have to do anything, then if it's always vacation all the time and he's never leaving your house, that's just impossible. He may be spending the majority of the time at Robin and he probably has been for a while, but she definitely used to get a couple days off a week to reset for Cody's next visit. Robin states a lot through season 16 that she did not sign up for monogamy. But I didn't sign up for monogamy. I mean, I know that, that every person in the world would sit there and question that, but like, I did not sign up to be in this family to, to only have Cody in my life. My hot take, potentially unpopular opinion. I think Robin values being the good wife, the compliant wife, the favorite wife, over being the only wife or the wife that's getting the, the, or the quantity of time that she's spending with Cody. I don't think she needs to be a monogamous wife. She doesn't need to be the only wife. She has help with childcare. Those two days in between are crucial to her keeping up the honeymoon charade. Let's talk about Cody for a second. For a few years now, since season 14, since the, the move to Flagstaff was all systems go, Cody has been talking about wanting his own space. This place is my dream and my prison. I need a break from this sometimes. Why is he telling this to the kids? My gosh. I'm actually just gonna sit back and not say a word. At the end of this conversation, He's going to talk himself out of living together. This is a dream, but I'm going to build myself a little cabin where I leave you guys every once in a while, and I just leave me alone. And so I want to make five lots. I'm keeping one for me. I'm not going to have the four wives owning that fifth lot when I don't even own one, so I'm just going to have the fifth lot. It's that simple. And notice it went from a retreat in one house to him outright wanting to own his own lot on Coyote Pass, and I think that had to do with the untangling of Christine from the family. He wants to make sure something is legally his. Um, and Robin had that whole talk about like these lots where their kids inheritances and stuff. So I definitely don't think that, you know, Rob, it's as easy and breezy at Robin's as one might think. There pretty much has never been a time that everyone was getting along in the Brown family. To me, and I think a lot of viewers agree, that Vegas seemed like the ideal setup. You had, if you were like Janelle and was really gung-ho about one house, this kind of gave all the wives autonomy, but your family unit was right there. You know, you guys could go from house to house. It was super easy. Cody didn't have to commute. He didn't have to spend time driving from house to house, and the kids could see each other all the time. Once the younger kids leave the house, we see that the cracks in the relationship really start to break everything apart. This happened with Mary. It happened with Christine. And honestly, if we're going to talk about probably who is the perfect soulmate, perfect match for Cody, I think it's Janelle in my opinion. Robin is going to be way too needy once all of her kids are grown. And honestly, jury's out if they'll ever leave the house, though. But once her kids are, you know, teenagers, older teens, young adults, they just simply are not going to require the, you know, constant attention that a young child, toddler, or baby requires. So she's going to have to get that or give that attention to Cody. And it's going to put a lot of pressure and stress on Cody. If there aren't other wives around that are having worse relationships with Cody, how can Robin be the favorite? You can't be, you can't really be the favorite wife if you're the only wife. Hence why she keeps encouraging Mary to hang on. And, you know, I realize also Mary brings in a crap load of money. And I think that plays a huge part in it as well. Y'all, my prediction as future seasons are filmed, and I do think the show will go on for several more seasons as we have seen a huge renewed interest in the show, 
I think, though, that if this living situation continues and they don't build on Coyote Pass, which I really don't think they ever are going to build, we will see Cody and Robin's relationship deteriorate. I think Cody is going to start getting annoyed that the older kids are still at home as we see COVID on the show. We're going to start see COVID restrictions relax and the vaccine will start to become available. Remember, this last season was filmed so long ago that there was still so much unknown. And I mean, I, here in Florida, I got vaccinated as soon as I could. And that was April of 2021. And we are at like Christmas 2020 when this was all wrapping up in season 16. So there's still several months, but as you know, life becomes livable again and probably, you know, more palatable for Cody, is he going to start taking notice of the fact that literally Robin's older kids didn't have to alter their lifestyle very much at all? I also think that Robin is going to try to have another baby as it does seem like that's what draws Cody back in. So Ghost Baby 2023? Maybe? I don't know, you guys. You'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments. I've just noticed Cody talks a lot, and he has talked a lot in the last several seasons about wanting his own space. And I just find that to be really interesting when Robin has worked so hard to have him have to do so little when he is at her house. I mean, that welcoming when when he came back from when he was quarantining at uh, at Janelle's house was like something if like, your soldier son was coming back and you were at the airport, like welcome, like, oh, welcome home. It was so over the top. She does the absolute most so that Cody could do the absolute least. And I just think that that's not sustainable given the current living situations. The mask has to come off at some point. So anyways, you guys, let me know what you think. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I will be back on camera this weekend. And on Monday, I'm going to jazzify and fancify up my office. And hopefully it will just look a lot crisper, a lot better, a lot more, have a lot more pizzazz. That's what I'm hoping. All right, you guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.